Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of the Terry Smith. I'm not changing your yell. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we're going to get into another segment of being submerged. In knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where we do the real esoteric baptism and the way it's supposed to be done. Now, this episode is going to be about narcissism, a.k.a. narcissistic energy, a.k.a. a person who is carrying out the characteristics or traits of being a narcissist. So let's break it down. First and foremost, you need to know it's a mental illness. Being a narcissist is actually having a mental illness. Now, mental illnesses derive after time. So before you get lost into the terms of mental illness, you do not need a doctor to describe you what kind of illness you have mentally because that ain't where it's actually coming from. So we're going to break down mental illness first. Now, you need to know what being ill is. Being ill is when something is weakened. I don't care if you want to talk about your blood cells all the way to you want to talk about your muscles. And if you're a bodybuilder and you ain't been lifting weights a lot, it becomes weak. So illness comes from weakness. So what is the term in front of that? Mental illness. So for the most part, think about all things that affect your mentality. This is going to be back to supported by lack of. Because if there's nothing in that mental space, there's going to be lack of fulfillment. So there's going to be nothing pumping that mental awareness up. So it's going to be mentally weak there. No mental strength there. It's not going to be strong. So you're going to develop mental illnesses. So mental illnesses can derive from lack of parenting, the neighborhood you grew up in, your surroundings, your siblings, your friends. Anything that you are in lack of mentally, it can slowly but shortly turn into a mental illness because anything you are lack of mentally, there's nothing there to build. There's nothing there to build. So it's not strong there. So you end up becoming weak there. And that develops into mental illness. Now, for the most part, think about the, all, all the things that can make a person mentally weak. When you don't have parents, I don't care if your parents rich or poor. If your parents or siblings or friends are not there to emotionally console you or help you how to construct your emotional instability in some way, shape, or form, especially when it comes to your elders. If you got elders in your life and they're not really, ain't, they, they only give you a bunch of masculine energy, giving you thoughts and concepts and structures, but they're not consoling you from an internal and emotional level, you need to know that's a lack of mentally. That's a lack of in the mental space, in the mental realm, because that's things you take inside you. Whatever outside of you, you may participate into these energies, but what's going on inside you, other people truly do not know. So if you're left to deal with it alone, that's something you have to lift and build yourself. And if you're spiritually weak, and if this is a mental issue you're going through, a.k.a. you may be not getting the attention, you may not be receiving certain energies and things of that nature, or things may not be going in your way, then that's going to be a lack of in your life. So the more and more you go into your life, you're going to start to feel this self-entitlement energy in that space of lack of. And you're going to feel like you're entitled to get that because you didn't have that in your upbringing. So this slowly but shortly turns into a mental illness that we call today narcissism. So check this out. Narcissism come in many different ways. You have a, now one of the main popular ones now is an egotistical ass narcissist, a person who is lost in their ego, lost in their own personality. But you need to know narcissism, that's just one phase of it. The energy that's back in, that's back in and supporting narcissism is going to extremes to fulfill what have what have been a lack of. Going to extremes to fulfill what have been a lack of in your life. So whatever you been a lack of in your life or feel like you haven't had it. The more and more you go through your life and experience those moments. You do extreme things and go through extreme measures to obtain that fulfillment. And you also going to develop the mental illness of self-entitlement, narcissism, into thinking that you actually deserve this thing because... Keyword, B 
because you didn't get it before. So now you think you deserve something based upon a false pretense. You do not deserve something because you didn't have it before. You deserve something because you just deserve something. So having the mentality of thinking you deserve something because you didn't have it before, you're placing this responsibility on the external realm to give you this. And when the external realm don't give you this, you're going to go through even more grave limps of extreme natures of mental illness, a.k.a. narcissism, to obtain what have been unfulfilled in your life. Do you get me? So check this out. Pay attention when you're around a narcissist or a person who got these characteristic traits. You ain't got to do much. All you got to do is sit back and pay attention to what a person feel like they're self-entitled to. This is how you know there's many different ways of narcissism. You might have a person who cling on to another person, right? Because they think that they're going to get some type of attention. Because they think they deserve it because they know another person, right? And when they don't obtain the attention because they rubbing shoulders with the other person, this person will go through grave limps and may even co commit their whole life into trying to destroy the person that they didn't get something from. Now, key word, they wanted the attention. So this lets you know what they feel self-entitled to because they don't deserve attention. They just, think they, want, they just think they deserve it because they know someone or they're trying to rub shoulders with someone. So for the most part, here's when they go through an extreme natures to actually get it, even if they turn this person into an enemy. Now, here's the, actual, here's the actual problem right here, right? Here's how you pinpoint where this person must have lacked up due to their upbringing. This person may have been unfulfilled of getting attention in their upbringing. So now they're placing this attention on the external world instead of being satisfied with the attention that they have and building on that in some way, shape, or form. So this turns into the mental illness of egotistical narcissism. You see what I'm saying? Well, that, that's not even egotistical narcissism. That's an insecurity narcissism right there. But having an ego can manifest from insecurities also. But that's another segment. But we can break that down also. But this fact that I was just explaining is an insecure narcissist. So they go through extreme lengths for security because they're so insecure. See what I'm saying? So you have to keep that in mind. These people who may have lacked emotional stability in their lives due to their parents. Parents may not have been around. Older siblings may not have been around. No friends in their right mind may have not been around. And they may have only been around their age group and peers to the point that it may have just led into situations of the blind leading to blind and being unexperienced. Now we can get into the egotistic, the egotistical narcissist. This is a person who never got things going in their way due to their upbringing. Things never went in their way. So the moment that they see something working and they see something going in their way, they go through extreme measures. They go through extreme lifts to make sure whatever going their way continue to go their way. Here's where you get people like Hitler and things of that nature. See, due to their upbringing, they may have had a lot of rebellious energy. And they built this rebellious energy off resentment. And the resentment came from them not, things not going their way. Growing up in circumstances and situations that don't agree with their energy in some way, shape, or form. So it developed into resentment. Then resentment is like point A going to point B. That turned into rebellion. Then once that turned into rebellion, this person go out and get into some type of spirit to the point that they end up creating their own way of making things go in their way because their previous condition wasn't, wasn't planned out in that nature. Then once they even get a small increment of something going their way, they add on to it, add on to it, add on to it, make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger. And this is what you can see a person playing out in the third dimension, the mental illness of egotistical narcissism. A person going through extreme grave limps to overly prove something, to overly show something that they always lacked in their life. So whatever that they're going extreme on, even if they're trying to get into competitive energies with others to try to overly prove these things, you can just look at them and be like, okay, you're just telling me that this is something you don't have. 
Because you're trying your hardest to create that perception that you have it, that you have it in the third dimension. So in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, your spirit must not really be in that space. It must be something you want. So you come back down in the one, two, and third dimension and get all the material and the periodic table and thoughts and ideas and archives and parasites and create shapes and forms and concepts to look like the space you want to be in. But then you know you're not really in that space because you know how hard you got to work for that space to look like it looked. That's almost like continuing a lie. You know how hard it is to continue a lie. So you know how hard it is to build something that was on a false pretense. So it's hard to appear like something you ain't. And when a person got it, got it working a little bit, think about the extreme measures they go through behind closed doors to keep that going. These are the people that's depressed, crying, and they do anything. You see what I'm saying? Even getting into an example. This would be the people who probably got all the flashy things in the world, right? But probably going through the most turmoil in their life. But you would never know the turmoil that's going on in their life because that's why they're covering up and utilizing the makeup for in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So the little bit of piece of anchor, man, of the motherfucking shit that goddamn works in the motherfucker that lack of something in their goddamn life, they built that mental illness. It turns into resentment. It turns into rebellion. It, it turns into going out in search of a bunch of other people who was in the same space. And if they was in that space before these people, they're a little bit more experienced. So they got a little bit more angling and ideas on how to conversate and how to make people comfortable about being in this kind of space. And then once they could attain all that attention or that lack of that they had in their life from these groups, they go to the extreme in those groups. And if those groups are grouped up and associated on the energy of resentment and rebellion, then what do you think the energy that they're going to do once they all group up together? Create a bigger bubble of resentment and rebellion. And the resentment and the rebellion energy in itself is some fuck shit. See what I'm saying? No matter how many illusions and concepts a motherfucker will make you think that everybody is motherfucker coming together while utilizing the, uh, the resentment, rebellion energy at the same time. That doesn't make any motherfucking sense. So, this is a motherfucker who then came up with ideas and concepts based upon what they lack of. And then they come back in the third dimension and create appearances and shit like that. To want to look like. But for the most part, when a motherfucker is in that space in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, they don't got to prove shit in the third dimension. And then everything that's in the third dimension in front of them that other people could look at can look like some fucked up shit. But motherfucker, your spirit don't be looking at the physical. Your spirit be looking at another fucking, another spirit. And when you just start, to, and then your spirit start to create feelings and shit and chakras first. And if you get this feeling like, damn, shit look fucked up, but man, nah, it ain't really like that. It's, it's really like this. Then that's letting, that's letting you know you te uh, telepathically, spiritually communicating. And goddamn it, that's letting you know that we in an illusion. So you could goddamn look at a bum in downtown in your goddamn city and could be able to tell or decipher where this motherfucking spirit is at. If his spirit is higher than yours or not. So are you going to be the motherfucker that spit on that bum? Or are you going to be the motherfucker that look at that bum and probably be like the spirit that's in that bum is probably way more advanced than my spirit. Just for them to not even care about certain responsibilities in this lifetime. You got to consider this shit like that. Regardless of people taking the consideration of, okay, yeah, we're in, we in this ram that's, uh, that's ruled by a bunch of fire, water, air, and earth type stars, but they all agree with this earth-like space we in, so we all need to think about routine, pattern, and structure, so we all got to get off our ass and think about routine and responsibility. Yeah, so we all kind of agree to that terms and conditions, so you would spit on a bum for not doing that, right? And for the most part, you can sit back and be like, yeah, I don't want to be a bum, but that don't mean you have to look down on a bum, because for the most part, for a bum to disclose all responsibilities, you don't know where the fuck they spit that and goddamn it, their spirit is a lot lighter than yours because who told you that gaining responsibilities was actually the thing to do? You're following a lost star. So you need to take this in mind and consideration. Narcissism is a mental illness that came from a lack of in a person's life. And how you actually pinpoint a narcissist, a person who feels entitled. And there's many different narcissism. So just look at the many different self-entitlements that's on this world that a person could play out. You got people who feel self-entitled emotionally. That lets you know that they lack emo emotional stability from others in their upbringing. You have people who feel self-entitled material-wise. 
This is a motherfucker who ain't never had shit. Look at celebrities, right? Who ain't never had shit. This is kind of like the good version of self-entitlement. Because for the most part, look, they ain't never had shit. So when they get shit, can't nobody tell them that they don't deserve that shit. But at the same time, think about a nar the, the negative version of this. The narcissism aspect of this. A person who don't deserve shit. They didn't work hard to get it. They, they stole. They thief. They psych other people up to get it. They utilize other people's energy to get it, right? The, or to try to get it, right? That's the narcissism. So they lack it, right? And they don't deserve it. And then they get in that space and try to take it. Because you could pinpoint that they lack that. They lack material in their life. So the moment that they see somebody else have material and the moment that this person that they attach to give them a small increment of it, they go through extreme lifts and measures. And the moment that the motherfucker don't even give them that back, this, they go through an extra extreme measure. Turn this motherfucker to an enemy, your, your motherfucking best friend, your family member, your motherfucking goddamn mama, your grandmama, your grandpapa, your, your uncle will slit your fucking throat. You better believe it. All because of lack of energy. And that lack of space due to a person's upbringing, turns into resentment, then that turns into rebellion, then that turns into a mental illness, and then it plays out what we call today as narcissism. So that's all we got to do, folks. It ain't even hard. You probably around a narcissist today. You probably right next to somebody and both of y'all talking about what is narcissism. Like this probably your best friend. Y'all both talking about y'all asking each other what's narcissism. Yo, you probably looking dead in the face of a narcissist right now. Right now. You better believe it. You believe in magic. <laughs> and this is all you need to do to pinpoint it. If you're around a motherfucker who feels self-entitled about something, then pay attention to what they feel self-entitled about. That lets you know what they lack of. Whatever they feel self-entitled about, that's something that they didn't have. And they're going to go through extreme lifts to appear like they have it, or they're going to go through extreme lifts to get it in some way, shape, or form. And that's when you know your ass is around a narcissist, a motherfucker with a mental illness, because one of their mental strains, mental frequency vibrations in their body in their mind wasn't getting fulfilled as an upbringing. So that part of their mind is weak. So it's ill. So they have a mental illness. Not a muscle illness like you lifting weights and, not, and you ain't lift no weights in a while. You know what I'm saying? A mental illness. A part of the membrane you ain't been using. And they haven't been getting fulfilled. So there's no weight or no shoulders for you to learn any experience from friction Expansion and contraction there in the first place. So it's weak. So it's ill. But the area that's ill is attached to your mentality. So it's called a mental illness. Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn. And love y'all.